Yo, what's going on, Geminites? Welcome to Spider-Man Villain Week. This is day three. We're unboxing the Lizard, Dr. Kurt Connors himself. Quarter scale piece by uh, XM Studios. So stay tuned for the unboxing and the review. Alright, y'all. First of all, this was a big, heavy-ass box. I figured you don't need to see me struggling with the shipper box. So I got the... Uh, XM box outside of the uh, shipper. Uh, it does come with an assemblage handbook, which usually means there's a lot of damn pieces. Which I'm kind of surprised because it doesn't seem like it was that intricate, but looks like there's seven pieces. This is what the handbook looks like. So that's that. Uh, as always, XM Studios hits you with an art print to match your statue. Very cool. I like this one a lot. But we're not here to look at art prints and instruction booklets. So with that being said, let's unbox this bad boy. So without a doubt, uh, you got you know the best packaging in the business. Uh, here goes the uh, little lizard bio included on this side of the box. And as always, you got your straps. Get the strap. Wow. So first things first, on the top, you've got the... Uh, the base, which looks like it's like 24 inches, yo. Look at this shit. Very cool. You know when I'm looking at this, it reminds me right away of like Ninja Turtles. Sewer base. Look, it's the same size as the uh, Lazy Susan. You got a base there. It's like another piece of the base. Installed. Got a lizard hand. Here, take my strong hand. Looks great, man. Scales look really good. <clears throat> Here goes his other hand. Very cool. All right, bottom layer. Has the man himself. Damn, his tail is huge. All right. All right, let's take a look at this real quick, y'all. Cool. This tail is huge, man. 
It's like a big ass snake. That tail was a doozy, man. You really had to get all up in it. Good thing it was on my desk and I was able to get down low to really secure that tail. So, the two portraits, I like them both, man. First of all, you have one that looks more like a lizard or like maybe an iguana type. And then you have one that looks like prehistoric. This almost looks like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I'm a huge... Jurassic Park fan, so I like that. Although the T-Rex has head has a longer uh, tongue and thinner, like more like a snake, and uh, this one's a little bit more thicker, thicker than a snicker. See how this looks. I like the big solid key. It reminds me of the uh, sideshow uh, thing premium format. So everybody tells you that this piece is bigger than you expect, and it is. I mean, you could look at the base. I, get, I think that's like 18 inches in diameter. Uh, at least the Lazy Susan is. I almost forgot about his, his doctor's uh, coat. Cool stuff, man. All right, let's see what it looks like with the T-Rex. And then we'll do a little review. You know how we do it, baby. Yeah, man, I'm liking that T-Rex head. Looking like maybe like an alligator head or something like that. Damn, loving it, man, the lizard. So let's do a review, man. So you have a big circular base, uh, sewer setting, you got this grate where his foot is on that overhangs over the base. You've got this watery uh, look for the sewer water. He's standing on another piece of uh, sewer paraphernalia. Then you have this piece that comes uh, removable, a piece of uh, bar or something like that. And you have this little tube with a little bit of um, water coming out of it. They made it glossy, it looks great. Reminds me very much like uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Let's look like Kurt Connors. So they killed this, man. I mean, it's spot on. The paint is perfect. The um, texture is crazy. So you have the scales, the reptilian texture on, on his skin. His clothes uh, have a fabric looking texture. Same with his like, you know, t-shirt underneath. His cloak... It's a little weird. It, it's kind of... I guess it's, this is going to be what the Kingpin blazer looks like that uh, my boy uh, Chris uh, was breaking my balls talking about. It looks like fondant. This cloak looks like fondant too, bro. But it has good details. It has rips. It even makes it, makes it look like it's dirty, but it's not. I'm surprised that they had him in there like that with that cloak. The nails, I can't believe nothing broke. Man, you gotta love XM Studios packaging, right? Loving this uh, prehistoric looking head. The eyes, the teeth, the tongue. Let's switch it back out to the uh, more classic lizard. So you got some close-ups. Has bigger scales, a thicker tongue, bigger teeth. Damn, I don't know which one I like better, yo. Definitely um, happy with the piece, though, adding the lizard. I I'm very happy with the decision that I made, y'all, for selling uh, 
the life size bus and selling some of my multiples to to get a wider uh, arrangement of Spider Man villains. Spider Man being always you know my favorite character as a kid growing up. This tail is huge, man. The tail is massive. It's solid. So happy that it didn't come damaged. I mean, you got to love their packing. Let's see. How tall is this thing? So he's about 19 inches tall. But for something so short, he is, he's wide. So if we look at the width, he, yeah, he's looking like 20 inches wide at least. I see my boy Frank always collecting. He has this uh, on the bottom, one of his bestas, and I know it hangs over. I don't know if I want to put him in a PAX. I can't. I don't trust those PAX shelves, even when I'm being braced. But uh, yeah, man, I guess that's all for the lizard. Doctor Kurt Connors made his way home to the Gempire, uh, keeping uh, Spider-Man Villains Week strong with Day Three. Make sure to stay tuned because we're gonna do um, seven days in a row of Spider-Man villains from xm studio unboxing and reviews make sure to hit that like on the way out drop me a comment with your thoughts comments concerns questions uh make sure to subscribe to the channel for more statue unboxing and reviews along with a lot of other content uh omnibus collection hauls and recent reads comic con footage a lot of stuff we be in the streets man local comic shop spotlights cgc spotlights so Stay tuned, and most importantly, y'all stay minty. Peace. <laughs>